am so excited uh, to be here. Ethan Pierce from the French Tech News. We are at Slush in Helsinki. Clara Chapaz, director of the French Tech. Lots of cool French startups that are here behind us. Uh, it's great to finally be back at a physical event, getting to see startups get to do business and promote what they're doing. Uh, as we move kind of back into this mixed thing of being able to get out and to do business, to be able to be international, um, just kind of uh, how do you see your role coming into this next phase of the French Tech as it scales up uh, on the foundation that's been built, all the amazing opportunity in front of us? Where do you kind of see that going and what, what gets you excited maybe about just seeing all of this cool stuff? Uh, I'm very excited to be here. It's actually my first international uh, visit since I took this role as uh, head of La French Tech. I've been working internationally for almost eight years, so being abroad is, uh, is always very fulfilling and very exciting for me. And I think it's, it's a very significant event for the French Tech because, as you know, uh, our French Tech scallops have uh, been developing internationally uh, very fast. It's actually 40% of their activities that is now done abroad. Uh, for the next 40 F FT120, um, and things are just going to continue to develop. Uh, in 2025, it will be 60% of their uh, revenues that will be done internationally. So those events help them to kind of see what is going on in different ecosystems. The Nordics is obviously very advanced, as everyone knows, but also just like gather, mingle, meet a lot of investors. 30% of the people who come to Slush are actually investors. So it's unique opportunities for the French tech to uh, really um, come together and show that we're are doing great things in France and that this is just the beginning of a new era. One of the things I love now coming to these conferences is I get to see the, the, the Finns or the Dutch or the Germans and they're all doing French tech. Like in the sense that they're all playing, the, they're all putting out the playbook and that's not a criticism, it's an amazing thing of what's been built the past eight years in France yeah. that has taken this ecosystem to be, in my opinion, the place you create a company today in the world for all of the good reasons, yeah. do it in France. It's great to see all these other places now realizing that mattered and they're looking to French tech to how do we make that work. And so here we are with all these cool startups. I think you hit, you hit on a really important point, which is I don't think any company that expects to have a large growth can do that by thinking they can be just their country as a market. Definitely. Definitely not on these large scale ups, but even medium sized companies to think that once you look at your vertical and you narrow down into your market and then you, the people who actually are part of your market that actually decide to work with you or buy your product, yeah. that you can't be one single country. And so the internationalization is super important. I think that's what's interesting about the Nordics, right? Because the whole markets are so small that they have to think international from day one. And they have to think, and they're very early adopters when it comes to innovation. So they have a home population that is eager to test new things with a mindset that is we have to go international. And that's kind of what is changing in France right now when you see all those big scale-ups. And we often say like after a certain stage there was not a lot of funding going to France. This is not true anymore. We had a lot of uh, late stage funding. It's actually around 40 to 50 percent of the fundraising this year. And this really supports the startups to go abroad because as you know opening a new market is quite pricey. So you need this uh, amount of fundraising to go international. And this is really like a new phase of growth for the French tech. How do we continue doing this? How do we help our entrepreneurs? We have this community internationally. We actually have a community in the Nordics uh, which has helped put everything together. But we have them all around the world. There's more than 60 communities. And they really support the entrepreneurs opening new market, building, coming with the best practices, and just like, yeah, helping each other learn from each other. We are crossing our fingers that CES is back uh, in, in January. Supposedly, we're going to be there and everything's going to be good. A pretty good sized French delegation is going. Yes. What do you see, maybe not necessarily just CES, but what's next for the next couple of months or six months as the world maybe opens back up a little bit and the greatness of the French tech stuff gets to finally go back out and be, be seen? Definitely. I think what the, the new challenge for the French tech is uh, to make sure we can help more and more startups. So we currently work with 200 startups directly with all the different programs we have, but we want to work with 1,000 startups a year directly. So that's quite a big, ambitious goal. And the way we want to do that is also making sure we don't only support the same type of companies, but we also help those that are looking after deep tech. We have a few companies here today uh, who are doing amazing uh, stuff. There is here, I don't know if you can see it, but this story, um, which is a, kind of an intermediary to help companies uh, print 3D little uh, pieces to help restore like uh, uh, everything you can think about. They work with the Ministry of, um, of the Armies. Um, this is one example of the type of innovation we want to support further. Uh, deep tech, 
green tech. Green tech will actually be uh, coming to CES. Uh, we have around 20 companies in green, of green tech coming to CES. So really showing that it's not just about digital, mm. but we are entrepreneurs who are disrupting everything and all the technologies, using technologies to disrupt all the industries also mm. in France. No, it's super exciting to see all the positive points that are aligning and that everything's rocking well. I'm, I can't wait to see what happens in 2022 with, with just hey. everything French tech and how everything's <laughs> are growing. Uh, again, welcome uh, as, as the new director, but I think what's amazing is just what you've already built as a career. I can't wait to see how you apply that to the French Tech as French Tech goes into its next phase. Thank Definitely. you. For, I know this has been super busy today. Thank yes. you for taking the time. Thanks for and, being here with uh, us. I can't wait to see you in Las Vegas, maybe at CES. I hope so. <laughs> uh, if we can all get to go. Well. <laughs> and uh, at other great things as we see the French Tech around the world. Great. See you. Thanks, Clara. <laughs>